FeatureCam 2015 R2, Vortex toolpaths have gained an efficiency improvement when machining flat areas by allowing an approach from outside the stock. Changes to the Vortex algorithm now mean that flat sections are now extended until they reach an area that has already been machined. This removes the need for any unnecessary helical entry moves. This enables the software to generate Vortex toolpaths that are quicker to machine and which can be used with a wider selection of tools. Now in this example we've got a die component and I've got two features already pre-created. Let's concentrate on the first one uh, and this one is Vortex Feature Cam 2015. So this is the previous method of calculation for the Vortex algorithm. Now in this case, obviously because I'm using 2015 R2, uh, I've converted the old uh, calculation into a toolpath feature that allows me to lock this down without it recalculating in this newer version of the software. I'm also just going to turn off the shading for a second and I'm going to run through a quick calculation of the toolpath. So as you can see, as we get to these flat areas at the top here, the tool is actually helically ramping into those regions. Now this is an unnecessary move when you've got these flat areas, uh, because we've already machined uh, pretty much up to that region here, and we've only got a small amount of stock to machine in this area. So we can see here that this helical approach is unnecessary. So what we need to do is we need to uh, change the way we calculate this toolpath. Now something else I'm going to highlight whilst we're at this stage is we can see uh, the centerline rapid moves uh, and something that we've added is the ability to turn these off. Now we can do this in uh, a number of ways. We can either go to the view simulation show centerline rapids and turn that off there or if I wish I could actually bring in the uh, command and put it onto my simulation toolbar. So I'm going to go to my customize into the commands area into the simulation and we can see you've got a new icon here to toggle rapids in centerline simulation. I'm going to take that, just drag it somewhere onto my simulation toolbar. And you can see at the moment it's toggled on, so I'm going to toggle that off and then just play the center line. And we can see those rapids have gone. Here we can clearly see now that helical approach on our original toolpath. So these are the moves we want to eradicate with the new calculation. Now we can do this, uh, we don't need to change any of the settings in the toolpath, this is done automatically through a change in the algorithm. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, play this one as well. And then you'll see as we get to these regions here, we no longer have that helical ramp move in. You can see we approach from the outside of the stock. And if I play that through, you can see that's clearing those regions much more efficiently. This means we don't need a tool that's specific uh, that requires uh, or is capable of doing the helical milling. You can see we can just approach from the outside of the material where the previously cut area is. Just to view this as a 3D simulation, just to highlight, so if I go to the previous one, go into my 3D simulation again, just dropping down the speed of touch and then playing this, you can see there's the first approach. And here we can see that helical move coming into the part. And again, you can see the helical move, like so. As we said, this is not what we want. So looking at the new toolpath, back into the 3D simulation, again playing this. So you can see as we get to those regions, we're approaching from the outside of the stock. If I do an Alt F3 just to highlight this, clearing away that material much more efficiently than we were with the previous calculation. So playing that all the way through, just to verify that the component looks the same, you can see as we get lower down, again approaching from the outside of the stock to give us our vortex roughed component.